welcome to episode seven of the Provenance Marketing Show. My name is Ryan Jennings, and this is the show where we talk about New Zealand made products. Products that are making a difference for Kiwis here and for those overseas who love to buy what we make and manufacture in New Zealand. And we've got some cool products on the show today. I'm gonna jump straight into it and go straight into these boxes here in front of me. Now, these have been provided by a company called Tapuna, tapuna.co.nz, and they make these little boxes for your trinkets or your jewelry or things that you want to store something that's a little bit special in because he can inscribe things on the top and inside. So this one here, for example, is made from New Zealand Rimu. It says Tapuna Design, which is his own logo, and then uniquely New Zealand. And that goes on each of the different products. So this is a, a Rimu uh, based box. On the top, my favorite, the Kiwi trademark. Uh, we asked him to do this, so he was very generous in providing these. They're all a little bit different. This one here is one of my favorites because of the type of timber used. And it's not immediately obvious, but when you read underneath, it says, this is 45,000 year old swamp cowrie. That's super old. So if you want something that's special to put that diamond ring in there before you propose, I'd say swamp cowrie is the way to do it. Unless you want to go something that's more sustainable and renewable, here's a new type of wood. This is made out of a tree called polonia, and polonia trees are grown, and at least this particular, uh, where these are grown is Tiawamutu. Uh, lots of different use cases because of its lightness and strength. Um, but yeah, I, I like that kind of lighter design as well, made with polonia. Uh, so we're going to give a couple of those away if you would like to win it either on the podcast or on YouTube or wherever you are watching this go to Twitter and tweet me at twitter.com forward slash business kiwi and say why you deserve one of these uniquely handmade boxes from Tapuna design at tapuna.co.nz and we will send it your way uh, we might keep these coasters I think for in the office I quite like them I think it's the the second one down. Yeah, that's the better one. So yeah, pretty cool. That is Tapuna Design. Uh, next up is a company called Animal Health Direct. That's their company there, AHD. And they do um, medical goods, uh, fertilizer, basically anything for the equine market, uh, as well as sheep and beef. So uh, Animal Health Direct is run by CEO Richard Kettle who I know quite well. He was in my 100% Kiwi business book that I published about a year ago. Uh, he makes a product called, well, he doesn't make it. He's now retailing a product uh, that is made uh, in New Zealand called Ouchie Powder. Ouchie Powder is something that can help treat wounds, cuts, grazes, anything on the human skin and also the skin of animals if you want it to heal faster. And that's super important, right? Uh, if whether it's your kid or whether it's an animal because this product makes it heal not just a little bit faster, but up to 80% faster. It's FDA approved, it's MPI approved as well. So it's gone through all the pharmaceutical grade testing to be able to be used on humans and on animals. Uh, all you've got to do is apply that powder directly to a cut wound or graze and you will start to heal much quicker and then after 72 hours it's cleared up a hundred percent and that this is it here it's like it's almost it's just a powder right it's just so let's see if i can rub that in obviously i haven't cut myself it's just like flour uh, so what that does when it gets into the wound is it helps coagulate the blood and therefore uh, helps with healing up that wound. I'm going to brush that off there. A little bit like talcum powder. Um, if you want to win that, let me know why you would use that uh, and where you would use that on what animal. 
uh, horses seem to be a big one for Richard. And we'll send it to you. These are $29.95 each. You can buy them from ahd.co.nz. And make sure your animals are healing a little bit quicker with Ouchie Powder. A very cool product. Next up, we're rushing through these today. Parisian. So I'm a little bit more dressed up today, and that's because I've got a tie on from Parisian Neckwear. Uh, Parisian is a fascinating company that you may not have heard of, and yet you should have, because they've been around a long time, a very long time. In fact, on this pouch that I've received from the managing director, John Compton, uh, Parisian is celebrating their 100th year in business this year. That's astonishing. For a business to be around that long in New Zealand, it puts you in the rarefied class. Uh, only less than 2% of businesses make it to 100 years old. Parisian is a fourth generation business run uh, by John Compton, who has now released this awesome new range of super limited edition ties. In fact, I think on this one here, you can see on the the tipping, the attention to detail, established 1919. Uh, that's a beautiful fabric. This is the end of the tie. We actually watched him, Anna and I, make one of these ties up in Auckland at their premises that they've been at for decades. Not the whole time, uh, but certainly a long time right on the edge of Myers Park in the centre of Auckland, which is fascinating in itself because you know, what business in this day and age manufactures in a CBD? You've got to be true to your core, true to your roots. Anyone else apart from this family may have turned it into apartments. They've held strong. So this tie here, one of my favorites out of the collection, uh, is number three of 16. They're only making 16 of these. So all these little details, like this little stitching that they've put in there, uh, it says Parisian made New Zealand on the back. Yeah, I'm loving these. So I might start wearing Parisian ties a little bit more often. If you see me on the show wearing a tie, it's because of uh, these ties from John Compton. Now, because they are limited edition, I've actually purchased these. So unfortunately for you, for you thinking that I'd be giving these away, I'm not. Nice product. They've stuck to their knitting. They just do ties, belt wear, uh, and... 100 years later they're still in business so congratulations guys lastly one two three we've got something a little bit different here so this is a, a beer a craft beer it's a pilsner beer that i had made brewed uh, by a company called north end north end brewery uh, do craft beer from their brewery in waikanae and I asked the guys there, hey, could you brew a beer without any label on it so that we can give it to some of the businesses that have been New Zealand made since the beginning, you know, since 1988 or early 90s who have been around as long as this retro Kiwi has been around. And the reason why I wanted it with no label is so we could hand apply these original labels onto the cans before we sent them out. And that's what we've done. Uh, so for some of the New Zealand manufacturers who have been with us for 25, 30 years, they will be receiving Pilsner Craft Beer in the mail this week. Enjoy. Yeah, I think we've covered it. I hope you are well and see you on episode eight.